We thank you, Lord. Evelyn, how are you doing? Cindy, how are you? What a privilege, Lord, to sing your praise, God. What a privilege to worship you, Lord. Pam, Nina, Samuel, how are you guys doing? Share the feed if you can. We serve an awesome God. It is an honor, God. Yeah, yeah. It is an honor, Lord. What a privilege it is to worship you. Oh, 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 oh. So we will worship you, O Lord. So we worship you, Lord. We won't let the stones cry out, no. We won't let the stones cry out in our place, God. No, 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 no. We won't let the stones We are praying for marriages today. Hallelujah. Share the feed, share the feed if you can. This is our Are we ready to advance in the area of marriage? I see you breaking barriers tonight in the name of Jesus. You are breaking forth tonight. You are breaking, you are breaking, you are breaking, you are breaking, you are breaking forth tonight. Weeping may endure for night, but joy, joy, joy cometh in the morning. I decree and declare that joy has come. Joy has come. Hallelujah. 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 Beautiful woman of God, Bridget, love you. I decree every attack on marriages comes to an end tonight in the name of Jesus we pray. Let there be a lifting. Those that are believing God for marriage, those that are in marriage, tonight is your night. Share the feet. I see you stepping forward tonight. I see you taking your place tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. We are releasing marital gifts tonight. Hallelujah. Hello, beautiful Natasha. How are you doing? Lift up holy hands wherever you are. Beautiful Shakaina, how are you doing? There is a release tonight, marital gifts, marital gifts, marital gifts, hallelujah. Marital favor, marital favor, marital favor, marital favor, marital favor, marital favor. Over your lives in Jesus' mighty name we pray. We thank you Lord, we thank you Lord. You deserve 
Dara received pick labor in the mighty name of Jesus. Congratulations, Michelle, on your engagement. We thank God for your life. Let the anointing fall afresh today in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. This need is for those in marriage or those believing God for marriage. Hallelujah. I just want to release something over your life tonight. Erica, Felicia, Comfort, Jacqueline, Shauna. praise of God let me know when you are ready and then we will begin to speak forth Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, hallelujah. We thank God for this day. This is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Once again, I'm going to ask you to share the feed. If you can, praise the Lord. And um, the song we were ministering to today is from a lady called Joke and it's called Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It's a pressing song. Um, it's a song that pushes you and presses you into a new season. We are about to enter into the eighth month and we know that the eighth month represents presents new beginnings and I decree and I declare new beginnings over every area of marriage in your life for those that are believing God for marriage new beginnings new beginnings for those hallelujah that are in marriage new beginnings in the mighty name of Jesus let all things become new by the power of the living God as I was ministering to the partners earlier this evening I just felt pressed by the Holy Spirit to say that there are marital gifts that need to be released amen hallelujah and we want to pray for these marital gifts to come upon you in Jesus mighty name we pray princess how are you doing hallelujah and I'm just gonna put them in no order praise the Lord I just led by the Holy Spirit I just typed down as fast as I could and um, I am releasing this over your life in the name of Jesus we pray hallelujah the first gift the first gift that we are releasing over your your area of marriage is the gift of speech hallelujah the gift of speech because the way we talk matter especially when we are children of the most high God we have a way of speaking we have a way of, of releasing in relationships hallelujah the way we speak to people matter praise be to God hallelujah why because we understand that life and death are in the power of the tongue many marriages have come to an end because of the area of speech because of negative words that have been spoken into the atmosphere of that marriage and I have come to decree and declare that our speech is changing there is a gift of speech beloveds of God hallelujah the way you will talk from today is going to change hallelujah praise the Lord all the bitterness is going to go all the shock of the tongue is gonna go all the fire from the tongue is gonna go everything negative that has been coming up out of your mouth you will direct it to the enemy and not to your partner in Jesus mighty name we pray hallelujah the way we speak the way we speak is very important let this give come upon you that even if you want to say something negative out of your mouth will flow the issues of life you will bring forth life you will you will release life from your tongue into your marital area in the mighty name of Jesus and those that have been believing God for marriage hallelujah praise the Lord don't ask yourself is there something wrong with me why is this happening to me from today decree and declare over your life that you are marriage material hallelujah that you are a virtuous woman that you are a man of honor are you hearing me today beloveds of God the way we speak matter the way we speak into an atmosphere the way we speak into 
one another's lives, it really matters because we are the greatest prophets of our life. Um, many people think that, oh, when I go to the prophet, the prophet is speaking, but you yourself, is you are also a prophet. Hallelujah. You are the one that is decreeing and declaring over situations. You are the one that is speaking over your life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So today, hallelujah, let that shout tongue be uprooted in Jesus mighty name we pray you will speak with wisdom you will speak with counsel you will speak hallelujah with clarity praise the Lord you will speak and not argue you will speak and then they shall be understanding in the mighty name of Jesus we declare many of you have met your divine partner this is for those that are single when you meet your divine partner what you say is very important beloved of God hallelujah not everyone is going to be after your body. Some men are going to be after your mind. Hallelujah. They're going to want to hear. What do you have to say? Do you have vision? Where are you going? What are you saying? Do you have substance? Hallelujah. It comes out through your mouth. And today, hallelujah, let the gift of speech come upon every woman, every man under the sound of my voice. Let this gift be activated in you now. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The next gift in marriage, amen, the next gift to be activated is the gift of love. Because the Bible says that love conquers all. The Bible says, hallelujah, that we should love one another as Christ loves us. Hallelujah. There is an unconditional love that you can have towards your partner. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And that love can conquer everything. Love can conquer all things, beloveds of God. Hallelujah. The agape kind of love and the love that you have towards your partner. Many people are looking for love in this generation. If you have to ask anybody on this feed, they will tell you, all I want is to be loved. I don't want the money. I don't want the... All I want is to know that I am loved and appreciated. Hallelujah. And that I am treasured. I want love. I want love. Many a times, beloveds of God, we fail, hallelujah, to show love love in the lives of those that we are in relationship with. Amen. Hallelujah. And in this season, let the gift of love reign. Let the gift of love reign, hallelujah, in your marriage. And may the gift of love be evident in you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare. The Bible says, hallelujah, that the marriage represents Christ and the church. Hallelujah. The love Christ has for his bride. Amen. Hallelujah. When you look at a marriage, there has to be love within that marriage marriage. Praise the Lord. Not the emotional kind of love where I love you today and I hate you tomorrow but the God kind of love. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. When you are flowing beloveds of God in marital favor and in marital gifts, you will find it easy to love your partner. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. When you have that gift of love, it is also easy for people to love you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because even if they come with bitterness, love comes conquers all. If they come with anger, love con conquers all. If they come with anything towards you, love conquers all. Let the gift of love come upon you tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare. Hallelujah. The next thing, the next gift that we are releasing tonight is the gift of wisdom. Wisdom is a very important thing, beloveds of God, in the area of marriage. Because there is going to come conflict, hallelujah. But you have to learn conflict resolution. You have to learn how to overcome. You have to learn what to say at the right time, hallelujah, and at the right place. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. So the wisdom of the Lord is very important in marriages because many a time, hallelujah, the the way we respond to certain reactions, the way we respond to certain situations in our marriage will either make or break the marriage. Hallelujah. And today we are praying for the wisdom of God to come upon each and every woman, each and every man. Hallelujah. Let the gift of wisdom to interpret in your marriage. Hallelujah. To decipher in your marriage, to separate clean from unclean, holy from unholy, uncommon from uncommon. Let that wisdom wisdom come upon you now. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And for those that are single, let that 
gift of wisdom come upon you so that you are able to discern that this is the right woman or man that I am called to marry. Hallelujah. Are you hearing me today? The wisdom of God, the gift of wisdom come upon you now. Come upon you now. Come upon you now. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. The next gift that we are releasing, praise be to God. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father, is the gift of faithfulness. Praise be to God. We are in a generation that is not faithful. Praise be to God. They are not faithful to others. They are not faithful to themselves. Praise the Lord. But when this gift comes upon you, it will rub up on, onto your partner because it is connected to the anointing of God. When the anointing of faithfulness, the gift of faithfulness comes upon you, praise the Lord. It means, beloveds of God, that you are now deeply rooted in that relationship. It means that you have now made up your mind. Hallelujah. Your mind is made up um, that I'm not going anywhere, that I'm going to stay in this relationship, that I'm going to stand for this relationship, and I'm going to be faithful in this relationship. And as you begin to flow in this gift, hallelujah, it will begin to rub off on your partner, and infidelity is going to leave your marriage. Um, unfaithfulness is going to leave your marriage. Um, lust is going to leave your marriage. Why? Because you are going to flow in this gift in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that the gift of faithfulness come upon you now. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. The next gift is for those that are married. Hallelujah. This is the gift of love making. If you are failing to satisfy your partner, if your, your partner is complaining that you are not um, exciting enough and, and your partner is getting bored in the area of of love making in your life. Um, let this gift be activated in your life in the mighty name of Jesus we declare. Hallelujah. Let this gift cause you to be flexible in the name of Jesus we declare. Cause you to be spontaneous in that relationship. In the mighty name of Jesus we declare that if your partner is complaining in the area of love making your partner will complain no more because the gift is coming upon you tonight. Hallelujah. In Jesus mighty name we pray. I decree and I declare that your bedroom will no longer be bored. In the name of Jesus we declare. It shall be exciting. In the mighty name of Jesus we declare. I decree and I declare that as the gift of love making comes upon you now. The gift of sexual healing will come upon you now. In the mighty name of Jesus we declare that you will enjoy your partner. There are some women and some men in marriage that no longer enjoy their partner they no longer celebrate the love making in the marriage um, from today the fire is coming back um, I said from today the fire is coming back um, from today the passion is coming back um, in the mighty name of Jesus we declare um, that you will enjoy your partner from head to toe um, in the mighty name of Jesus we declare um, we thank you Lord that two shall become one in Jesus mighty name we pray hallelujah the next gift that is coming upon you is the gift of counsel. And this is for those that are believing God for marriage and those that are married. Hallelujah. That you will be able to counsel your partner or the man or the woman that has entered into your life. They shall be great counsel on the inside of you. This gift is coming upon you now that you are able to give the right, right advice. Hallelujah. Sound advice. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus and when your partner comes to you, you will know what to say. Hallelujah. You will know how to guide. You will know how to mentor. You will know how to lead. I decree and I declare that the gift of counsel is coming upon you tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. That gift is activated in your life. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. The next gift that is coming upon you is the gift of attraction. Hallelujah. That your partner will have eyes for you and you alone. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. If your partner has wandering eyes, if your partner is looking elsewhere, hallelujah. When this gift of attraction comes upon you, he told all, all his eyes or her eyes will only belong to you in the mighty 
mighty name of Jesus we declare the gift of attraction breaks everything every wandering eye are you hearing me today beloved of God I have come to decree and declare over every person under the sound of my voice that the gift of attraction is coming upon you your partner will admire you your partner will be attracted to you you shall be like a magnet to your partner in the mighty name of Jesus we declare we thank you Lord we thank you Lord that means beloved of God that if your partner has been cheating it is over tonight hallelujah he will no longer desire others she will no longer desire others she will look at you hallelujah and she will see the heavenly glow of God upon your life hallelujah and the gaze shall be on you from today in the mighty name of Jesus hallelujah may that gift of attraction come upon you now come upon you now come upon you now hallelujah that the everything that your partner desired concerning you let it be highlighted in your life in the season in Jesus mighty name we pray because many a times the negative is highlighted in a relationship in the season the positive shall be highlighted in Jesus mighty name we pray the next gift that we are releasing tonight is the gift of strength not to be moved or shaken by by situations not to be moved or shaken hallelujah when there's trouble in the home not to be moved or shaken hallelujah when the enemy begins to creep in when the devourer begins to creep in you will decree and declare I am not moved or shaken hallelujah do you know how to bind the strong man when the gift of strength comes upon you it means that God is giving you the power to bind every strong man coming against your relationship in the mighty name of Jesus hallelujah the strong man that has been walking all over your house wandering all over your house hallelujah that that strong man will be bound because the gift of strength is coming upon you tonight and when power meets power the lesser power has to bow because of the power of God that is coming upon you tonight hallelujah every strong man coming against your marital area coming against your marriage hallelujah you will bind it in the name of Jesus we declare we thank you Lord receive the gift of strength wherever you are receive the gift of strength receive the gift of strength hallelujah the next gift hallelujah is the gift of grooming and building hallelujah that if you are going to take somebody's son or daughter praise the lord and you are going to bring them into your life you are not going to divide and subtract from them but you are going to add and multiply you are, god is giving you the gift of grooming and building hallelujah that you will build that person to become better a better version of themselves in jesus mighty name we pray hallelujah when you have the gift of grooming and building hallelujah when that person comes into your life they will praise God for the day that they met you they will thank God hallelujah for the day that they chose you hallelujah to be the one that would walk with them for the rest of their life um, when you have the gift of grooming and building hallelujah no matter how down your partner is you will have the ability to lift them up hallelujah you will not sympathize with them but you will groom them and guide them and build them and impart to them hallelujah so that they are able to arise and shine upon their lives hallelujah let the gift of grooming and building come upon you today in Jesus mighty name we pray the next gift is the gift of joy hallelujah where you are supposed to weeping that to weep the joy of the Lord will be your strength it is if it is not about you if the if the problem is about your spouse and your spouse is causing the atmosphere to become heavy and your spouse is causing in the atmosphere to become miserable and dark um, hallelujah you will not be affected because the joy the joy the joy the joy of the Lord will be your strength um, you will keep on pressing you will keep on moving hallelujah you you will be you will move in the joy of the Lord are you hearing me today beloved of God just because somebody is angry doesn't mean that you have to be angry just because somebody is disappointed it doesn't mean that you have to be disappointed just because somebody is miserable it doesn't mean that your day should be miserable the joy of the Lord shall be your strength the joy of the Lord shall be your strength when this gift comes upon you the things that used to stress you the things that used to worry you the things that you used to afflict you they will afflict you no more because the joy of the Lord shall be your strength receive the joy of the Lord today receive the joy of the Lord receive the joy of the Lord hallelujah 
The next gift that is coming upon you is the gift of investment. Hallelujah. When you are, you, this is for the single ladies especially. Hallelujah. God has given you investments. Amen. There is a gift of investment. Praise the Lord. It means, praise the Lord, if you are going to put in your time, if you are going to put in your energy, your resources, if you are going to put in everything concerning you into a relationship, it must bring forth a return. Hallelujah. God is saying that the one that you will invest in, may it bring forth a mighty harvest, pressed down, shaken together and running over. When the gift of investment comes upon you, it means that there is going to be a mega, mega return. Are you hearing me today, woman of God? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The one that is coming in your life, praise the Lord, as you begin to invest in that one, praise the Lord, they will release back to you double portion, fire for fire, glory for glory, favor for favor. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare, I lift up your hands, every woman, under the sound of my voice. May you receive the gift of investment hallelujah so that you will bring forth a mighty return you will receive a mighty return in the mighty name of Jesus we declare the next gift is for married people the gift of unity hallelujah where there has been disorder where there has been disagreement you will come to an area of unity an area of agreement hallelujah if there has been long-standing arguments long-standing uh, confusion in your relationship and you are a disagreeing on a certain thing in this season let the gift of unity come upon you hallelujah so that that puzzle is put together again that you agree hallelujah that you find common ground in the mighty name of Jesus whatever disagreement in your life let this gift of unity come upon you and as this gift comes upon you hallelujah where two or three where two are agree hallelujah God is in their midst hallelujah this shall be your portion in Jesus mighty name we pray receive the gift of unity in the mighty name of Jesus the next gift is the gift of understanding you don't know what your partner has been through you don't know where your partner is coming from you don't know why your partner is behaving the way he or she behaves but may God give you the gift of understanding hallelujah the gift to understand where your partner is coming from what your partner is going through in the mighty name of Jesus because when you understand, you will know better how to deal with it. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let me just put the phone on charge. Are we learning something today, beloved of God? Share the feed. Share the feed. Hallelujah. These gifts are coming upon you tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Are we getting something today? We almost done. Don't worry. The next gift, amen, is the gift of warfare. Hmm. The month of August is a month of warfare because enough is enough, beloveds of God. Enough is enough is a revelation. Are you hearing me today, beloveds of God? When you are saying enough is enough, you are saying I'm sick and tired of cycles. So if you are single and you keep getting disappointed, get into a relationship, it doesn't work. Get into a relationship, it doesn't work. If you find yourself in a cycle, if you find yourself in a circle, hallelujah, that means those things have to be broken in order for you to enter into the new. So the gift of warfare is coming upon you. What does that mean? It means that God is giving you the necessary tools to fight these battles. You are the one that knows the battle that you are fighting. Are you hearing me today? You are the one that knows what you are going through. You are the one that knows everything that is happening in your life concerning marriage. You are the one that knows, hallelujah, that whenever this happens, whenever this is, the, the, this is the problem. God is giving you the axe. He is giving you the spear. Hallelujah. He is giving you the sword to cut down everything that is affecting you in the area of marriage. There is a gift of warfare. It means that he is training you and teaching you in the area of battle. He is teaching you to win. He is teaching you for the victory. Hallelujah. He is teaching you how to use the weapons he has given you. He is teaching you how to wear the armor of God. So in this area, hallelujah, if something has been holding you back, if there has been a delay in your life, it is going to break in 
in the season in the mighty name of Jesus. It is coming to an end. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare, wherever you are, receive the, the gift of warfare. The warfare from your mouth, the warfare from your hands, the warfare from your heart, the warfare from your belly. Hallelujah. This is the season for you to win. This is a season to come against every stronghold in this area of marriage. This is a season to break down the walls. Hallelujah. That have been limiting you from wearing your wedding gown. Limiting you. Hallelujah. And bringing forth separation and divorce in your life. This is the gift of warfare coming upon you tonight. This is a season for you to roar. This is a season for you to win. This is your season to be victorious in the mighty name of Jesus we declare. Hallelujah. The next gift that is coming upon is for married couples. And this is the gift of laying of hands. The way your partner will lay hands on you in this season will be different. He will not lay hands or she will not lay hands on you violently. He will not lay hands on you in force. But he will lay hands on you to prophesy over you. Hallelujah. To comfort you. To hold you. Are you hearing me today, beloved of God? Hallelujah. To caress you. Hallelujah to pray for you the gift of laying of hands is an amazing gift because touch is so powerful the way you touch a person matters are you hearing me today when the gift of laying of hands comes upon you no matter he tries to raise his hand against you no matter he tries to fist you hallelujah he will find himself praying for you he will find himself holding you and loving you hallelujah or she hallelujah in the mighty name of Jesus, let the gift of laying of hands come upon you tonight. Violence must go. The spirit of anger must go. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare that the spirit of abuse must go. He will touch you to caress you. He will only touch you to love you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare, receive the gift of laying of hands. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. The next gift is the gift of renewal. Hallelujah that your marriage be really renewed your relationships be renewed your season of marriage be renewed hallelujah if those that are believing god for marriage in from from the time you are waiting for marriage up until now and nothing has happened let the season be renewed in the mighty name of jesus this is a new season you are entering into hallelujah that wedding gown must come forth those those wedding rings must come forth um, and those in marriage hallelujah that are feeling like giving up um, that are feeling like quitting on their marriage those who have packed their bags those whose suitcases are packed um, those that, that are saying i'm about to leave this marriage let this be the season be beloved of God, that your marriages be renewed in the mighty name of Jesus, so the enemy can be put to shame in Jesus' mighty name. The devil is a liar. What God has put together, let no one put asunder. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare that your marriages will be renewed in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, receive the gift of renewal tonight in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. The last one for marriages is is the gift of time hallelujah one of the most saddest um, encounters I ever had in marriage in, in ministry was of a, a beautiful young girl um, in our ministry we have a prayer line beloveds of God and people go in the prayer line for prayer and they write down their cases amen on a piece of paper so when we are praying for them we know what we, we just read the paper and we know what they need prayer for and we pray in that area but one day beloveds of God I was in the prayer line there were over like 200 people in the prayer line and I'm praying and I'm praying and I'm praying and I see this beautiful girl and she is just so down and I'm looking at her and I'm saying what's going on with this girl and I get to her and on the paper she had written husband is missing husband is missing missing husband missing husband and so I went to her and I said to her I need to see you after the service so I can understand what do you mean when you say your husband is 
is missing? Did he run away? Did he fall into another relationship? What happened? I need to see you. Praise the Lord. So after the service, she came to me. She was so young and she says, Prophetess, what happened is I met the love of my life, a beautiful man who loved the Lord so much. And he was a truck driver and we got married. We had a beautiful marriage, everything going well. And one day he says, my wife, I want to go with you on one of my trips um, to, he's a, he's a truck driver, on one of my trips to South Africa. And I, wa I want you to just take a drive with me so we can spend quality time. And so she says she went with him in the, the truck. And when they crossed the border, there's a certain bridge near uh, in South Africa. And when they got to that bridge, all of a sudden he started screaming, run, run, run. And he stopped the truck switched off the truck, jumped out of the truck. And he's shouting at his wife, run, run, there's people, there's people after me. And when she looked, there was no one, beloveds of God. There was no one in front of the truck, no one behind the truck, no one. And this young man that was recently married with a beautiful wife, left the truck and went running into a bush. And this bush stretched for miles and miles. You can't even see the end of the bush. And he was never to be seen again. Are you hearing me today? And there was this frail looking beautiful girl. And she was just so broken, beloveds of God. They sent out a search party for him. He was never to be found. Are you hearing me today, beloveds of God? There are women that get married and within a month the husband is gone. Or the wife is gone. Are you hearing me today? I pray for the gift of time. I pray for the gift of time in your marriages and your marriages to come. That you grow old together in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That you live a long, beautiful life together. Hallelujah. That you, you grow stronger and stronger together, not weaker and weaker. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. May God satisfy you with long life. Praise the Lord. Long life together. So that you will enjoy one another, appreciate and treasure one another. It is a gift to grow old together as a couple, beloveds of God. Hallelujah. It is a great, great gift. Praise the Lord. And I'm praying for this gift over you today. Whether you are married, whether you are not married. Hallelujah. When you do get married, may you receive the gift of time. Hallelujah. May you receive the gift of long life together. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare. And those that are married, appreciate your partner. Appreciate the time that you have spent. Today. You have been through the flood. You have been through the fire. You have been through the, through the lion's den and through the pit. Hallelujah. And there you are. There you are. Appreciate one another. Don't spend the rest of your life fighting and arguing. Spend it appreciating and enjoying one another. Hallelujah. Because it is a gift. Marriage is a gift. Marriage is a gift. Marriage is a gift. And within that gift are all these wonderful gifts, beloveds of God. Hallelujah. So I thank God for your marriages and your marriages to come. And I speak these gifts to be activated in your life in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. May you be blessed and have a wonderful evening in Jesus' mighty name. Those that are partnering or sowing tonight, the details are above. If you would like to sow towards your marriage or towards marriage, the details are there. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I will be back tomorrow for Fruit of the Womb and we will continue to pray in this area in Jesus' mighty name. Love you guys so much and be blessed.